Hello and welcome to your Gentle Flow Yoga class. My name is Frances and this is a great class today for anyone who's just rolling out of bed or maybe this is the end of your day and you're just getting home. From the most of it, our poses will be fairly gentle today. So this means this also will be a great class for if you're a beginner, all right? We're gonna be working a little bit on everything, strength, flexibility, and balance. And you'll have plenty of options. So take the ones that are really right for your body today. Now I also, before we begin, need to give a big shout out to Caroline and Eugene for sponsoring this video today. So much love to you. Thank you so much. All right. So as we begin our class, we're going to bring ourselves to sitting with the legs crossed. Let's begin as we tuck the right leg in first, then the left. Have our hands onto our knees. So we lengthen our spine, lift our heart. Begin with that good seated posture, especially if we've been spending most of our time just slumping. Relax the shoulders. And close our eyes here. Start to bring focus to your breath. Breathing softly in and out through the nose. And allowing our mind to relax. Any thoughts we're holding on to, let's put them aside. And take this time to connect to our mind, body, and breath. Once you feel ready, you can open your eyes. We're going to begin as we gently warm up and stretch the spine. Come into our seated cat and cow. So as we're holding on to the knees, let's inhale, lengthen our spine, lift our heart and chin. Then as we exhale, we're going to lean back, rounding the spine, separating shoulder blades as we tuck the chin. So inhale, lengthen our spine, lift our heart and chin. Exhale, rounding the spine as we tuck the chin in. We can continue here with your breath. Really getting the full spine involved. So you'll feel that pelvis coming up right as you lengthen your spine. And then as you're rounding the spine, you're feeling your pelvis tilting back, coming off the sitting bones. Now, next time we lengthen our spine, let's look straight ahead. From here, we'll lean forward, hands in front. Feel that stretch through the outer hips and glutes, as well as the lower back. We're just starting here, but if we need a bit more, we can walk the hands forward, lower belly, chest, and forehead. Sure, everything that we come into today feels really good in your body. If you ever start to feel discomfort or pain, we know we're pushing ourselves too far. And let's lift your forehead and slowly walk the hands back in as we lengthen our spine. And from here, we're going to cross the legs, slide them forward, a little shake if needed. And once again, we're going to sit with the legs crossed. This time, we're going to tuck the left leg in first, then the right. Hands to our knees as we lengthen our spine. Coming back into that seated cat and cow. As we inhale, lengthen our spine, lift our heart and chin. And then exhale, leaning back, rounding the spine as we tuck the chin in. 
Inhale, lengthen our spine, lift our heart and chin. Exhale, round the spine as we tuck the chin in. You can continue here with your breath. Our spine, we can look straight ahead. And from here, let's lean forward, hands in front. And if we like, walk the hands forward, lower belly, chest, and forehead. Let's lift your forehead. Slowly walk the hands back in. Find that length of our spine. And from here, let's cross the legs. Slide them forward. And then that little shake. All right, so now we're going to come up to our hands and knees. We're going to move now into a few sun salutations. So sun salutations are sometimes not very gentle and relaxing, but they're used to warm up the body. And also that's important when we're looking to stretch your body, that we want to make sure that to a certain extent that we're warmed up. All right, we're going to make them a little bit more gentle today and beginner friendly. So as we set up for plank, hands come right to the front of our mat, shoulder distance apart as we spread our fingers, and here we need to have our middle fingers point straight ahead, right? to have a good strong foundation. As we draw the abdominals in, bring your chest forward so you're going to have your wrist, elbows, and shoulders in line. Now from the knee with plank, we're going to come to full plank, curl the toes, and lift the knees. So from here we can come to downward dog, keep pushing through the hands as we push the buttocks back, and walking between the knees. So we're going to feel some work into the shoulders and that stretch through the back of the legs. And at the end of our next exhalation, let's come up onto our toes, bend the knees, we'll look between your hands and step the feet through. Inhale, sweep the arms up, palms together. Exhale, spine, side forward. Bend your knees as much as needed as we set our hands for plank. Then we're going to step back to plank and draw the abdominals in. Lower down to your knees. We're going to come to chaturanga. So if this is new for you, using shoulder and tricep strength here. So like a tricep push-up, elbows point back. They stay nice and tight. Take the first one all the way down and curl toes. Inhale to cobra. We squeeze our glutes. We keep those elbows in. Push through the hands so we're coming up part way. Shoulders down and back. Now we're going to draw the abdominals and curl our toes into our mat, push through the hands, the balls of our feet as we push back to downward dog. So taking this time as we warm up our body and getting our blood circulating. If we ever need to rest, we can sit back into child's pose. Now at the end of our next exhalation, let's come up onto our toes, bend the knees, look between the hands and Step the feet through. Inhale, sweep the arms up, palms together. Exhale, spine, side forward. Bend our knees as we set our hands for plank. Then we'll step back to plank. Once again, lower down to your knees. Exhale, chaturanga. All the way down, uncurl toes. 
Inhale, cobra. Unless your spine feels ready for upward dog, keep pushing through the hands, engage your legs and push through the feet as we come all the way through. So your lower body is gonna lift up off your mat, chest is open. Now let's curl our toes into our mat and push back to downward dog. And at the end of our next exhalation, let's come up onto our toes, bend the knees, look between the hands and step the feet through. Inhale, sweep the arms up, palms together. Exhale, spine, side forward. Bend our knees as we set our hands for plank. Then we'll step back to plank, you can lower down to the knees. If we do have that greater upper body strength, we do have the option to come up to the toes. Okay, so exhale, chaturanga. You'll also have the option of coming to upward dog to take it halfway down, stay hovered on curl toes, Inhale, upward dog. That's going to create more work for your upper body strength. Now let's curl our toes into our mat and push back to downward dog. So we feel now that greater warmth fill the inner body. And at the end of our next exhalation, let's come up onto our toes, bend the knees, look between the hands, and step the feet through. Inhale, sweep the arms up, palms together. One more time, exhale, spine, side forward. And bend our knees, set our hands for plank. Then we'll step back to plank, knees or toes, choice is yours. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. And at the end of our next exhalation, let's come up onto our toes, bend the knees, look between the hands, and step the feet through. Inhale, sweep the arms up, palms together. Exhale, mountain pose. You did it. Now that we're warmed up, we're going to come into our standing poses, and we're going to begin with our tree pose. So tree pose works on balance. So we're gonna to need to draw the abdominals in and use that strength for our core stability. It will also help to support good standing posture here. So as the right foot stays grounded, we're gonna bring the left foot by the inner part of our ankle, toes touch down. See how our balance is today. Every day it's gonna be a little bit different. We do have the option to bring the foot to the inner shin or inner thigh. Let's bring our hands to prayer at our heart center. Lengthen our spine, lift our heart, palms pressed together. Now to help with balance, you can pick a spot straight ahead to focus on. This pose helps to improve our focus and concentration. Let's release from prayer and we can lower that left foot down. Prepare for the other side. So as the left foot stays grounded, we can bring that right foot, inner part of our ankle, toes touch down. Or see if you're able to bring that foot to the same spot you had it on the other side. See if we have that balance today in our body to do the same thing on one side that we do to the other. Hands come back to prayer outer heart center. Lengthen our spine, lift our heart, palms pressed together. Bring our focus back to that spot in the room. This pose also helps to build self-esteem and confidence.
and let's release from prayer and we can lower that right foot down coming now into warrior two we're going to build strength through our arms and legs let's take the feet wide so really using that full width here of our mat especially if you're tall you might even be taking your feet a little bit wider let's turn in the right toes pointing to the right side of the room and have the left toes point straight ahead keep your left leg straight and strong so that knee does not bend but we are going to bend the right knee and sink into our lunge you need to get that leg into a 90 degree angle if your knee is going past the toes you're going to take your feet even wider apart if the knee is going way past the toes that puts a lot of pressure onto the knee and that's not good for the knee so give yourself that space here for the lunge we bring shoulders in line with hips lengthen spine belly in arms come up to a straight line shoulder height reaching through the fingertips now let's turn our gaze and look towards our right fingertips feeling that strength here we have through our body bring our gaze back to center and straightening the right leg release the arms down other side let's pivot the right foot in and turn left toes pointing to the left side of the room now that right leg will stay straight and strong bend the left knee sink into our lunge reset shoulders in line with hips lengthen spine belly in Arms come back up to that straight line, shoulder height, reaching through the fingertips. Strong like a warrior. Let's turn our gaze and look towards our left fingertips. Let's bring our gaze back to center. We'll straighten our left leg and release the arms down. You can pivot your left foot back in. And from here, we're gonna bring our feet in together. Might take a few steps. We're gonna be coming back to our mounting pose. So right at the front of your mat, lengthen our body, lift our heart. Inhale, sweep the arms up, palms together. Exhale, spine, side forward. Bend our knees as we set our hands for plank. Then we'll step back to plank, knees or toes. Again, your choice, exhale, chaturanga. But this one is gonna come all the way down. We're gonna uncurl the toes and set up for our sphinx pose, which is a back bend. We're gonna bring extension to the spine. So let's come up to our hands, forearms, and elbows. So our chest and lower ribs are up off our mat. Elbows can be right under shoulders. Elbows, forearms, and hands are shoulder distance apart as we spread our fingers. So we can push your hands, forearms, and elbows to keep the chest up as we look straight ahead. Now here you can relax your lower body. We're no longer strengthening the legs. Here we're working on opening up through the front of the body. This pose is a great one for improving posture. If you like, you can close your eyes. Bring focus back to that soft breath. Open our eyes. To release 
this, we have to slide the hands forward to we'll lower ribs and chest back down. And from down here, we're going to set up for a version of Wheel of Life. It's going to stretch the front of our shoulders and chest. Another great pose to improve posture. And take care of those rounded shoulders if we suffer from that. So we'll start with the right side as we stretch one side at a time here. Right arm will open out straight line shoulder height and have that palm into the floor. Make sure that your arm isn't reaching up or coming all the way down. You do want the arm to be out shoulder height here or we won't be into the stretch anymore. Now bring your left hand to your mat underneath left shoulder. Push through the left hand and roll onto the right side of your body. Press the side of our head down. If we're not able to get the head all the way down, then you can always have a yoga block or set on your head there, or even using a pillow. And you do have the option to take the top leg, bend the knee, step that foot behind. And you can even take that left arm and drape it over your lower back. Yeah, we're feeling that stretch into the right pec and shoulder. Our wrist draped over our lower back. Bring that hand back in front. That knee is bent. You can slide the leg out. And we'll all slowly roll back to our belly and set up for the other side. So the right hand comes to our mat right underneath right shoulder. The left arm opens at straight line shoulder height, palm into the floor. Once again, we don't want the arm all the way up here and we don't want it all the way down here. Right up to the side. Let's push through that right hand and roll onto the left side of your body. Press the side of your head down. Use a prop if needed. If you'd like again, you can take the top leg, bend the knee, step that foot behind into the floor. And maybe taking that right arm, draping it over the lower back. thing is, is when we stretch, we can strengthen one side at a time. We get to learn the side that might be stronger in our body, more flexible. We learn on the sides that might need a little bit more attention. We're feeling more balanced in our body. And being more balanced can also help prevent injury. Or maybe we've had an injury where we are feeling those imbalances. So we can become aware of that when we slow down and practice yoga. We can start to create that better balance in our bodies once again. draped over our back, we can bring that hand back in front, slide that right leg out, and we'll slowly roll back to our belly. Let's bring that left hand to our mat underneath left shoulder, coming to our child's pose. Let's press through the hands and knees as we push the buttocks back. Slide your big toes in a touch, take the knees nice and wide apart as so we sit back to the heels and Rest our forehead down to our mat. We can close our eyes, relax, and restore.
try and you can open your eyes and lift your forehead. So we walk the hands in as we come up to sitting on to the heels. We're now going to come to a seated forward bend to stretch the back side of her body. So let's get off our heels and slide the legs forward. If you're feeling really tight through the back side of your body, you might need a yoga block or a pillow to bring yourself underneath your buttocks so you're able to sit up tall. So see if you're able to get up to the sitting bones here without that block or pillow to sit up tall. But if you find that you're rounding, you're going to need that prop to be in better posture. Now with our legs stretched forward, if you like, you can lean forward, take hands or belt around the soles of our feet. Another option is to make this more gentle, which this is our gentle flow yoga. You can have your arms alongside your legs. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, forehead towards toes. We feel that stretch through our back, hamstrings and calves. lift your forehead and slowly walk the hands back in find that length of our spine and then from here we're going to make our way down onto our back so if you don't have much room behind you, you can bring yourself forward we'll bend our knees and pull the belly in let's use our abdominal strength to roll down when ready you can reach the arms ahead around the spine and slowly roll all the way down to our back We come all the way down. You can relax your abdominals. Keeping your knees bent here, we're going to be coming into a gentle spinal twist. Arms open out, straight line, shoulder height, palms gaze up towards the ceiling. So we draw our knees to our chest. We can lower the knees down to our right side. Let's say lower. Relax our arms and shoulder blades into our neck. And continue to twist as we turn our gaze and look towards our left fingertips. Here we're working on that rotation of the spine. With this twist, we're also massaging the internal organs, which is good for the digestive system. straight line and as we relax let's turn our gaze and look towards our right fingertips
Swing our head back to center. And slowly bring the knees back up and twist. Let's lower our feet down to our mat. Set that spine. We now come to happy baby. Let's draw our knees to our chest and flex our feet. Turn the soles of our feet to face up to the ceiling. Hands, we hold on to hamstrings. Hold the outer parts of the soles of our feet, which will take a little bit more flexibility through the inner thighs and groin. We want to keep our lower back into our mat. So if that tailbone is lifting up, we need to actively push the tailbone down towards the floor. And hands and pressing the hamstrings or feet as we draw the knees closer down towards the sides of our rib cage. So feel that stretch through the inner thighs and groin. This pose tends to feel pretty good for the lower back. And it's also another pose that's good to help improve the digestive system. So if we've been feeling very constipated, bloated, or gassy. This is a pose for you. This pose can help relieve some symptoms of IBS. Now hands can release, lower feeding arms down to our mat. And slide the legs forward, a bit further apart. Have your arms at our sides. We draw shoulders down from our ears. Palms of our hands gaze up. Move now into our relaxation and meditation. Best part. So let's close our eyes. Soften your eyelids. And relax your jaw. Lips gently seal. Tongue resting gently on the palate of your mouth. Soften all the muscles of your face. And start to scan your body. From the tips of your toes. all the way out through the crown of your head. And in some areas you're holding on to. And now letting go. And allow your mind to relax. Any thoughts you're still holding on to, put them aside. And focus on your breath. Allow your mind be gone and experience complete relaxation. And for any healing that needs to take place, the happy now.
now begin to bring your awareness back into the room. Deepen your breath. Slowly waking your body with all your fingers and toes. time, you can slowly draw your knees in towards your chest. Hug your knees into your heart and give yourself a great big hug for taking the time to honor your mind, body, and spirit. And keeping your eyes closed, you can roll over to your favorite side into a fetal position. Getting your time, you can slowly make your way up to sitting. We can cross our legs, bring hands on knees, palms gaze up, lengthen our spine, and allow our heart to lift. And let's end with a deep inhale. Sweep our arms above our head. Bring palms together and draw them down to our heart center. The divine in me honors the divine in you. May there be peace in your hearts and the world around you. Namaste. And thank you for joining me here today. I hope you enjoyed your practice. I hope to see you back here soon. And once again, thank you, Caroline and Eugene, for sponsoring this class to you. Much love. We'll see you back here soon. Take care.